All right, so. Okay. Pasta and spaghetti, there are all different size thicknesses. Cappellini angel hair is the finest of all spaghettis. Now, you don't cook it exactly the same as you would regular spaghetti. And let's get a zoom because, shot here. Because it's very fine. And what happens is Like angel cooks, hairs. Yes. And what happens is it, it cooks very quickly. And also, once it cooks, it sets up really fast. And then it turns into... Cement. Cement. It all sticks together. <laughs> and most people stay away from this because whenever they're making uh, cappellini, they end up with a pile of mush. And I'm gonna show you how to do this so that you don't, and it'll even be good for leftovers the next day. Very nice. Okay, to, okay. Start, right. to start, you have your salted water. Yes, you need salt in the water. Okay, water's boiling. You drop your pasta in. Now, when you drop your pasta in, you always want to put it so that it goes in, so that you fan it out, because if you don't fan it out, it will stick together as soon as it hits the water. And you kind of just kind of push it in there. Push it in as it starts to soften up. Now we're going to we're going to do this so that it boils just about a minute or so because if you overboil it, what happens is it cooks too far. And it gets mushy and you get like this clump. Okay, so the sauce doesn't really matter what kind of sauce you're doing. Doesn't but matter what kind of sauce. We're going to do a clam sauce. We're right doing now. clam sauce. The clam sauce is already hot and ready to go. Right. So this here just yeah. needs to, doesn't even need to come back to a boil. Just enough, just so that it starts to, starts to bend a little bit. Okay. And just give it another couple seconds. Now it's still going to be crispy because if you do it until it cooks, then it's past. It's too late, right? Yes. Okay, so now we're going to take it out of there now. Okay, wait, let me zoom out. Okay. Move this closer. We're gonna get it now. You can still see it's still snappy. Okay, okay. and you're not straining this; you're just transferring no, I'm just it. Just gonna transfer it because I actually want some of this pasta water. And okay, we're gonna put this back on the heat. All right. Stop for a second. Okay, just like we have in our other recipes, you always use a little bit of the pasta water. Right. The water has pasta flavor and salt, and you put it in there. And you kind of move it around and let it finish cooking right in this sauce and make sure you have enough juice in there yes so we uh, that it can finish cooking well, I've got a link on this to the uh, pasta shoota okay and we're going to just let this cook just about another minute or so okay now what happens is it will continue cooking just from this warmth of the, just from the warmth of the, the sauce. Okay. So this is now ready because by the time you're ready to eat, it's still going to be five more minutes. Right. And it's going to continue cooking. Okay. So you want it so that it looks like the sauce is starting to get a little creamy looking, and your pasta now is done. Soft. Let's see it one more time. It's not done done but it's done enough yes very nice okay. okay so now you transfer to your eating vessel but now <laughs> you're looking at your pasta yeah and it is all individual strands and it's not it's not all stuck, stuck together, together nothing now we're gonna wait a couple of minutes we're gonna not in, we're gonna do not real time you can shut it off and come back okay and we're gonna wait like five or ten minutes and then come back and we're gonna look at it and see that it looks exactly the way it does now. It's not going to be sticky or stuck together. Okay. Okay? All right. All right. All right. Okay. So now it's been about 10 minutes, something like that, eight, 10 minutes. All right, let's see now, what we got. Normally when you would go and you would try to pick up this pasta, it would be one solid lump. Now, if you <laughs> boil it all the way in the if water. If you boil it all the way. Now you look at this and this is still all individual strands. Yeah, it's, it's nice and loose. It's not stuck together. You could eat it like you would eat any other spaghetti. And it's yeah. not starchy. Now this tomorrow morning as a leftover will be exactly the same. Even if you reheat it. Yeah, you can see it, just it's all still it's loose. It's all still loose. It's not 
It's not clumpy, not on the bottom. Nice. Not on the top. And that's how you cook capellini. That's how you cook capellini. And the sauce doesn't matter. It's the same no matter what. The sauce doesn't make any difference. If you have red sauce, you have clam sauce, if you have garlic and oil sauce, or whatever you want. Right. And also, a little secret. What's that? When you go to a restaurant, a lot of restaurants recook their pasta. Now, if you order capellini, they always have to cook it fresh. That's a good point. So, just a word for the wise. <laughs> if you're going to order a dish of pasta next time in a restaurant, order a cup of Right. 